Regretfully, there are many risks at this stage. One is, uh, and primarily for central banks, is the spike in inflation that has become a global phenomenon. This has followed major commodity price shocks, bottlenecks, change in the form of demand uh, between uh, goods and services. If inflation is not brought under control, eventually that will also uh, affect growth. Well, I think it's premature to say. At that time, the shock, uh, the energy shock was far more uh, virulent. In this case, it's not so large, but it is broader in terms of uh, energy sources that has affected uh, food items and also the starting conditions. In the 1970s, there were large declines in real interest rates in the lead up to the oil price shock of 1973. In the 1979 crisis, real rates were more stable in the face of higher oil prices and then eventually increased as central banks sought to bring inflation under control. Well, they need to look very careful at their monetary policy stance. They certainly will need to tighten uh, financial conditions. Uh, hopefully, uh, each one of them will time it appropriately, will decide the appropriate uh, speed. Therefore, uh, we can have soft landings. But in general, it has to be timely and decisive. One of the, th the aspects that we are noticing and that we have reflected it in the annual economic report is that the space of fiscal and monetary policy uh, has been to a large extent uh, depleted. Therefore, we should not depend so much on a fiscal and monetary policy to induce economic growth. We need to pass the baton, so to say, to structural policies and therefore other sources of growth are uh, put in place so that we can uh, manage to have stability with growth.